Well, hey there, folks, and I hope you're doing phenomenally well wherever you are in the world today. I'm John Morris, and I want to share with you for the next maybe 20 minutes or so a little video, a snippet into my brand new book, The Battles We All Face, so you can get a taster for it for yourself, and hopefully it will encourage you to take that next step and to purchase the book in one of its many formats for your very self. Now, the version you're going to get to hear today is the exciting brand new audiobook version, and you're also going to get to see the brand Brand new and exciting layout and format that we've got in the paperback version, both of which can be purchased from the battlesweallface.com and it's available on Amazon, of course, as well. So, without further ado, let's dive straight into it with chapter one, all about anxiety, shall we? Now, as you can see here on the left side of the page, we have one of my beautiful paintings, and it's got a little quote underneath that hopefully it's going to give you an association, a little trigger memory to hopefully give you daily inspiration. And the quote from this page is simple. Do not fear the irrational. Chapter one, anxiety comes from fear. Anxiety comes from fear. We as humans have many fears. Fears of being hurt. Fears of spiders, drowning, heights, enclosed spaces, open spaces. Humans can be just about afraid of anything. Often our fears are irrational, though. We play out scenarios after scenario in our mind, making the event bigger and bigger and more dramatic than it possibly could be. Often focusing on what could be rather than what is. For me, one of my fears was people. I used to fear being around other people. I used to fear that it would cause more hurt and pain than I'd already experienced. This fear, if not properly controlled, could send my mind spiraling out of control while playing out every possible scenario that could happen. I should tell you that during an anxiety attack, all three could be scenarios are negative and destructive. I'll go into more detail later on. It's important to feel, it's important when we feel anxious to gain clarity on two subjects. Firstly, what is? And secondly, what could be? What is? What is actually happening? What are the facts? What is going on in the present moment? Our minds, as you will see later on in chapters, often have the uncanny ability to focus on the past or the future more than the present. This is the difference between the conscious brain, which surprisingly focuses on more of the past or the future, and the non-conscious brain, which is about 96 to 98% responsible for the control of our perception and behaviours. And, you've guessed it, which also focuses on the present situations. What could be? This group of fears is categorised into filled with what-if scenarios. What if I step outside and a UFO beams me up into the sky? What if I get out of bed and the floor collapses? What if I go to work and put, forget to put my trousers on? Or worse. These fears may seem humorous. However, they are among some of the biggest contributors to anxiety and stress that people actually face. Rational fears and irrational fears. Rational fears are those fears that are common and more likely, like spiders in the bath or getting stuck in a lift, bumping into someone you'd rather not see, fear of the police, all of that kind of stuff. These are the things that people face on a daily basis and are more common. Irrational fears are the fears that are highly unlikely to happen and occur as a result of the snowball effect. Also known as letting your mind run away with itself. This falls into the what could be category. It is vital that when anxiety strikes, you are clear on one thing. Is my fear a rational one or an irrational one? If it's rational, ask yourself, what am I afraid of and why am I afraid of it? Is there something I can do to calm myself? Is it really as big as it seems in my mind? If it's an irrational fear, then focus your mind. Tell yourself this is irrational to be feeling like this. The chances of it happening are very, very slim indeed. And more than likely, I'll be perfectly okay. Don't allow your fears to stop you enjoying life. When we feel love, the anxiety fades away. Anxiety cannot exist where true love in its purest form is experienced. 
That's what comes internally from inner engineering. When we allow love in and look with gentle eyes, we see things in a whole new way. When we look with love, we see potential rather than previous, hope rather than pessimism, love rather than hate. New relationships can be built upon love. It's wonderful. I can say this because for so much of the last decade, I have battled with these very emotions. Slow down. Take time to see things clearly. You can do it. It just takes time to adjust. Take control of your thoughts. Love and anxiety. Love and forgive or hate and hold on. The choice is yours and yours alone. Breathe. Calm yourself down and go forth into the day. You are strong, my friend. Chapter 2. What we see is a result of a single idea. What you believe will be your reality. One of the things that I have discovered in my many years of business is this. Successful people absolutely believe that they have the ability to succeed. And they will not entertain, think about, or talk about the possibility of failure. They don't ever consider this to be a possible reality. Have you ever heard the phrase, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right? Oftentimes in life, the only thing that stops us from the success and dreams that we desire is our own beliefs. But it may not work out, many say. Do it anyway. Give it a go. My attempts may fall flat on their face. Do it anyway. What have you to lose? What if I don't succeed? What if you do? There have been times when I have taken on projects that have terrified me. But I remembered where I wanted to be and kept working on the steps in getting there. This is called growth. Another principle related to beliefs is willpower. We know that willpower is essential to any success. Willpower is based on confidence. It's based on conviction. It's based on faith. It's based on your belief in your ability to triumph over any and all obstacles. And you can develop willpower by persistence, by working on your goals, by reading biographies of successful people, by listening to audio programs such as our own, by reading books who are, of people who have achieved success. The more information you take into your mind consistent with success, the more likely that you will develop the willpower to push through the obstacles and difficulties that you experience. Recently, I attempted a painting that was far larger than any I had done before. It required a greater deal of detail than any I had done previously. It was a sight more daunting than any I had experienced. For the first time in a long time, I felt genuine fear. After 17 years in the business of art, I thought I had seen it all. I was wrong. But I attempted it. I took it stage by stage and I'm incredibly too happy to report that it's gone on to be one of my most popular pieces. Just when, you've seen, just when you think you've seen it all, remember there's a new challenge around the corner. How exciting life can be. Only when a seed dies and death takes its toll can a flower spring forth and beauty emerge. Chapter 3. New life comes from letting go. Have you ever wanted something so badly that the thought of not getting it made you feel that life couldn't carry on. You're not alone. Many have felt this exact same way. We are human beings and we've been programmed to want. To want more money, to want more clothes, a better house, job, whatever it might be. We often fail to remember that while these things are nice and are to be enjoyed, they're not the be all and end all of our existence. Sometimes it's only by being at peace with not getting everything that we want or by letting go of something that we're holding on to so tightly that we can really receive what we need. Let me explain. When a sower sows a seed, that seed must die in order for a tree or a plant to grow. In life, everything has its order, nature and part to play. Many times people forget that. 
When they develop a new idea, relationship or creation, they want to skip the boring waiting around part and jump straight into fun fun fun. The issue with fun 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 is that the first must be work and secondly patience. Sometimes people want all of the pleasure without any of the work. Life will often take a road or a path that we didn't think it would. When this happens, it's easy to be disappointed, upset or angry, especially when our dreams and opportunities fail to work out the way we had dared to dream that they would. What's for you won't go by you. We often fail to see that so much more could be coming our way than we dared to dream. It sometimes takes a great deal of loss to achieve a great deal of gain. How would you feel if you could have everything that you ever wanted? All because you didn't get the opportunity you desired. In not getting that opportunity, something more amazing came along. Just as a monkey cannot move forward holding onto the same branch, so too we cannot move forward holding onto the past. It is hard to let go and trust that particular things that we desired weren't meant for us. Letting go is possible, and it is a discipline that can be achieved through time and focus. Try not to hold on to something so tightly that it consumes you. Enjoy everything and be attached to nothing. Enjoy the journey. If it works out for you in the way that you hope, wonderful. It was meant for you. If not, let it go. Something else is coming your way. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little snippet of The Battles We All Face, uh, my brand new book that's available, as I said, on thebattlesweallface.com. The link is in the above section, or if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the caption section below. Do check it out because it's got some phenomenal chapters in there, phenomenal artwork, as you can see, and it's been laid out in a new easy to read fashion and it supports our little business as well so it's, it's a wonderful transaction you're getting a lot of help you're getting a lot of teaching a lot of guidance that i have built up over the last 20 years and you're supporting our business as well it is available of course as i mentioned in a remastered audiobook version which if you love audiobooks and you love listening and you like the sound of my voice then you can hang out with me for a couple of hours while we read this and there's content available in the audiobook version that is available nowhere else. If you're also interested and you love reading and you would love to get this brand new detailed artwork book um, that's there and all the amazing chapters and quotes that go along with it, then you can get that again at thebattlesweallface.com and uh, you can buy it on Amazon as well. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon.